First, we have the Vice Minister of Finance. As you're all aware, he had some sort of episode during a diet session Q&A and abruptly confessed a document. Hmm. Soon after that, three Sapporo Central Councilmen confessed to bribery and publicly resigned. Next, the well-known author Mr. S. He held a press conference and announced he was retiring from writing, returning his book's awards, and deeming his body of work garbage. Then, a newscaster suddenly got down on one knee, confessed his love for his co-anchor on live TV, proposed to her, and got shot down. Lastly, the Director General of Criminal Affairs unexpectedly stripped off his clothing and ran around HQ until successfully detained. <laughs> Something amusing to you, Inspector Hasegawa? Uh, no. Excuse me. <clears throat> the vast majority of these cases have been interpreted as nothing more than bizarre outbursts. But, time and again, every instance involves a sudden change. Furthermore, none of the individuals involved had any known psychological issues before their incidents. Therefore, we can surmise that these cases are the result of an external influence. Aren't these just coincidences? Are you really implying someone out there is using mind control? The cases I listed are only a small sample of this behavior, which appears to be happening across the entire nation. Hmm. Sounds like the Phantom Thieves to me. I want silence! Proceed with the... Thank you, Commissioner Kabaragi. As you've realized, or at least as one of you realized, these cases are very reminiscent of last year's change of heart epidemic. The top brass have concluded that this is indeed the work of the Phantom Thief. <laughs> what? Hmm. But what evidence is there? No one's even established a pattern. And we don't have any sort of motive. So far, doing it for kicks is the only thing that'd explain it. You will investigate each of these incidents yourselves, as quickly as possible. What I expect from each of you are two things. One, to assemble enough evidence for a successful case. Two, to do so as quickly as humanly possible. The higher-ups are hell-bent on closing this case. I do not know why, it does not matter. All that matters is producing results. Your suspect is the leader of the Phantom Thieves. Show me a thorough investigation of his entire life. <sighs> so, the Phantom Thieves rise again. since we rode this to Yonginjaya, huh? Almost there. We haven't seen everyone in so long. 
I know it's stupid, but I'm getting kind of nervous. Thieves come together, it's never anything less. Whoa, we finally made it. Surprise! We get you or what? <laughs> hmm. We missed ya. It's been a while. Did you get taller? <laughs> Looks like you've been doing fine. <laughs> you too, Morgana. Mm. Meow. <laughs> it's gotten hot. Oh, you you have some nice coffee? Hey, you guys are great. Oh, Mona is practically purring. <laughs> Surprised. You guys did all that for us? <laughs> Talk about a greet. <laughs> we hadn't seen you in so long, we knew we had to do something. We figured the best way to get you was to have Boss let us in early. Well, you're looking sharp. Sure, you all have plenty of catching up to do. But I gotta open up soon. Go ahead and take it upstairs. After all, it's your room. Have a good time. No problem. You can just pay me back working the counter. Deal. Now, thieves? Just when I was enjoying the peace and quiet. <laughs> Seriously, no. Free it's not a joke. Never fails to <laughs> you really never change. <laughs> Formed three of my finals in one day, too. I'm really freaking out. I had so many makeup lectures in a row, I almost wasn't able to come over today. <laughs> then I win. I only flunked 
one final. You two are the same as always. Can't you at least take your classes a bit more seriously? Ooh, watch out. Miss President's gonna unleash her fist of justice. Jeez. Will you please forget about that already? So is college life all it's cracked up to be? Yes, it's going well. I've been using the time to take care of the core curriculum. I've been busy too, but it's also a lot of fun. For example, I've learned how to selectively breed certain vegetables. Oh, -ho! yielded any results yet? Boy, <laughs> that got his interest. Wait, aren't you in the management program though? Yes, but students are allowed to take courses beyond their own programs if they feel so inclined. They even offer agricultural science courses. You can learn all sorts of neat things, like the correlation between soil nutrients and yield. Ugh. That'd put me to sleep in a minute flat. And you, Fataba? How's school been for you? <laughs> Two? At this point, the only hellish parts are the commute and PE. most curious about. You doing okay back home? Well, that's a relief. Even though you seem like you'd be fine no matter where you ended up. Well, I've been getting by too, but you around it's sort of like stuff is just kind of bleh of course he's our leader it's only natural that's right <laughs> once a phantom thief always a phantom thief well let's say we start coming up with summer vacation plans anyone have any ideas Stay here through all of vacation, right? Well, how about a trip, guys? Come on, we've got a whole month to rage! Um, aren't you forgetting about your homework? Blah. <laughs> not only do you have homework, but your third years now. You need to start thinking not just about graduation, but post-graduation. Yeah, no, stop! Don't bring that up. Not now, please. <laughs> Ryuji never changes. Back to the topic at hand. If I may suggest Kyoto, I'll find an abundance of inspiration if we tour each temple in shrine. Oh, the sheer wealth and beauty I can witness in a whole month. I can hear the treasures of our history calling to me. Yeah, if it's a month-long art tour, I'm totally gonna pass. to it. It does sound rather fitting for the summer. I like the idea, but we'll need an awful lot of vegetables to balance it out. Huh. A barbecue is one of the few things in this world that can pull me away from art. Our history's treasures can wait a bit longer. Choosing food over art? Are you sure your priorities are solid there, Inari? All right. Our first reunion party has been unanimously decided. And with that settled... Emma, list recommended camping gear. I have... 
compiled a list of items recommended for camping. Here was a sporting and travel goods store near 705 in Shibuya. Customer reviews rate this as the best relevant store in your area. Ooh, what's that? The virtual assistant, Emma. You haven't heard of it yet? Oh, I think I have. It knows, like, basically everything and does all sorts of stuff for you, right? Oh, yeah! It's got this, uh, eye that thinks for it. Right? I think you mean AI, not an eye. Right. It stands for artificial intelligence. It can search all kinds of databases, conduct navigation, manage your schedule, even talk out logic problems and stuff with you. The makers go on about how you can ask it anything and you'll get the best possible answer. I remember seeing a demo of one on TV the other day. They were showing off its functions and talking about how it's the next big thing. Yep, that's it, all right. Pretty solid tech, considering it's roughly a thousand times smarter than Ryuji. Shut up! That sound kind of cool, though. <gasps> I bet tell us where all the best ramen shops are. Yeah, you should all download it. I'm telling you, it's the bee's knee. I suppose it'd at least be handy if we ran into any trouble while camping. That's a good idea. Why don't you get it too? Hello. This is Emma. I'm pleased to meet you. Please provide me your name.
thank you. Again, I am Emma, your helpful virtual assistant. Looks like you've got it figured out. I sent you all friend requests. Please don't blow them up. Displaying recommended camping items. So Emma came up with all that? Impressive, no? And it's not just random junk for sale. It takes into account the season, the weather, your personal profile, and even your location for all its recommendations. For real? Damn, that thing's eye is crazy! Ugh, AI, not an eye. Well, should we split up and buy everything Emma's listed for us? Oh, can't we do it tomorrow? It's so hot out. I bet this guy's beat from the traveling, too. We just went through all the effort to meet up in the hideout, yeah? So let's make the most of it. Indeed. I have an absolute plethora of discussion topics for us to mull over. Particularly matters such as modern art and the possibilities within it in our current age. But that. Thank you for treating us all to curry, boss. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just think of it as sort of a welcome back gift. Plus, with this guy hanging around again, it'll be nice feeling like old times. Same here. <laughs> Thanks again. We'll be back soon. Well, see you tomorrow. You know, it was nice talking after so long. Okay, let's get to shopping first thing tomorrow. Yeah, we gotta get everything Emma listed up for us, right? Then we should meet up by the Buchiko statue in Shibuya. then. Don't go forgetting, okay? And don't go forgetting about helping out behind the counter either. Bring back memories. It's nice to see everyone doing so well. Chief seemed to be the same as ever, too. This place is just as great as I remember. So, we're camping in a couple days, huh? Talk about a way to kick off your summer vacation. Sounds great. 
Well, we should get some sleep. I know not whether to rejoice or bemoan this reunion. Regardless, I must perform my duty. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. The expression you bear now tells me you already know the reason for yourself. I must warn you of the danger threatening to consume both yourself and the entire world whose heart you strove so greatly to change. A most loathsome prison has manifested. Your appearance is ironclad evidence of this. You have become a prisoner of fate yet again. Understandable. This is something only felt in the depths of one's heart. Someone, even now, plots to lure you into a disastrous. Confronted by this evil will, your own cries out. Rise against it. My name is Lavenza. As one who rules over power, my duty is to witness the path you take. Should the world continue down its own current path, all that awaits you is destruction. Have you the resolve to defy such a fate, and face the distortion that yet again threatens your world? That is the trickster I know so well. What awaits you ahead are more of the same, no, even greater hardships than before. However, you must never forget, I am always by your side. The time has come. Let us meet again soon. Until then, pleasant dreams.
Now then. Ready to buy some camp and shit? Uh, let's hustle to the store so we can finally chill for a bit. It's already way too hot out. We're in charge of picking up the barbecue, right? Go ahead and lead the way, Ryu. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know where it is. Oh, right, we can just ask the app. Hey, uh, yeah. Hello, do you need something? Yeah, uh, show us that Door you told us about displaying the optimal route to your destination whoa look at this sweet map we can even figure out how to help with a big question like that oh this thing's a whole lot more useful than I great let's get this over with so we can plan tomorrow's feast <laughs> what's all the racket I have a suggested event for you. A promote. Huh? The hell is a suggested event? Wait, for real? Alice is here? Alice Hiraki is a Japanese fashion model and performing artist. She has gained attention with her adorable look and unique sense of style. She is active in a variety of media and genres. She has become a pop culture tastemaker and continues to amass a devoted young fan base. Wow, Emma makes her sound huge. Is she really all that popular? Oh, I don't know. What kind of answer is that crowd giving you, huh? Alice really is just over there. Oh, I can't believe it. Someone sounds interested. It's on our way into the store. Why not check it out? She's totally cute enough for this to be worth it. Hey, hey, what's going on? Heard it's some shop opening ceremony. Wait, isn't that Alice? Alice Hiraki!
They're magical cards that will make you have an even better time in Wonderland. And... <laughs> Here you go! Oh! Oh my god, thank you so much! What was with that crowd? I can't believe I saw Alice. She was just as cute as I thought she'd be. Yeah, you just don't get it. Her being different's what makes her so awesome. Well, she's all yours. My heart still belongs to Lady Anne alone. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Well, are you satisfied now? Let's hurry up with the shopping. Fine, fine. Oh, yeah, you got one of those cards from Alice, right? <laughs> yeah, he did. You just got blown up. People around is all. Alice Hiragi's Wonderland? This looks like a boring old ad to me. Hmm? There's some. Here's my Emma keyword. Please become my friend. What's a keyword? Didn't Futaba use something like that yesterday? She said we could become friends through Emma. Yeah, do it! Come on! So, you input the keyword, then you become friends... You said it's on the card, right? What was it again? Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Feels like... Whoa! What happened to you guys? Not just me. You changed, too. Whoa! For real? Huh? Huh? <sighs> Looks like this place is connected to the metaverse. This is a joke, right? Whoa, check it out. Look! Aren't those the guys we saw at 705? Hey, everyone! You love me, don't you? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah? Then you can give me all your desires. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell was that? The 
no time. We'll figure it out later. Joker, Skull, let's fight our way out. Damn it! Ah, fine, let's do this. We'll take all of you on. Stay sharp, you two. We haven't fought in some time. Just warm up a bit for starters. It'll come back to you soon enough. Let's go.
Alice's palace. A palace? I thought those were done for, though. I mean, we don't even have the meta nav on our phones anymore. I don't know what's going on. But I don't think anything else could explain this. You saw Alice on that screen just like I did. No matter how you look at it, that was her shadow. We just happened to wander into Alice's palace using Emma. That would be the most logical explanation. Damn it! Whatever it is doesn't change the fact that we're in deep shit. Mm, we need more intel. But this really is a palace. The distortion has to have a core somewhere. We need to find the treasure. Oh, I'm even getting a faint whiff of it. If we look around, we may be able to learn what's going on, too. We'll get a better idea of what to do next, depending on what we find. 
guess we're doing this. these thieves, but we couldn't seize their desires. We have instead brought them to you. Couldn't seize their desires? Explain yourselves. Hmm. You look pretty cool. So, what's your name? Okay. Oh, yeah, luckily. Man, that was some real shit. Even worse was that effing. So that's what she's really like, huh? <sighs> How about you, Joker? She really whacked you good. Damn that Alice! That's why she's top shit! I'm gonna be so pissed off until we finally get back at her! So, where are we now? Looks like we wound up underground. I'd say it's some sort of garbage dump. For now? Let's just focus on getting out of here. This place is disgusting. Who just dumps people into garbage like that? Let's find a way out as soon as possible. We don't know what we'll run into either. Let's keep an eye on how we're holding up as we press on. Huh. 
Let's go. What's that? I can see it. Focus. What is this place? Who are you? You are... a phantom thief? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Correct. That means I make for a good companion to people. Are you human? Do you have a name? Joker. Okay, I memorized it. Joker, do you know where this place is? Hey, I just heard something! Uh, I mean... What is it, Joker? Funky get up. What? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Were you dumped down here by that Alice girl, too? Hmm. I just learned that I have no memories, so I do not know. Wait, what? Hey, you two, come here for a second. Who is that Joker? She said she doesn't have any memories? She came out of a giant box? What kind of crazy shit is that? Way too weird. She doesn't seem to be a shadow, though. She doesn't even seem hostile. Well, whatever she is, we still gotta find a way out. Nobody's solving any problems in this dump, that's for sure. In trouble? Whoa! Where did you... If you're in trouble, I can help. I am humanity's companion. My purpose is to be helpful to humans. So... you want to help us out? Correct. What is your problem? Well, uh... we're lost. I guess we're looking for a way out of here? A way? Will reaching the surface solve your problem of a way out of here? Uh, yeah. It would? Okay, I've got it. I'm searching for a way out of here. Whoa, hey! Don't go out there alone! What? Might be able to get us out of this d You sure about that? She's still super suspicious. But I guess we shouldn't ditch her either. Hey, hey, you better watch out for shadows! Oh crap, too late! Get behind us, Sophia! Where the hell they come from? Nobody's coming for us if we go down here. Let's get it. Fire! <laughs> Woo! 
We got through that somehow. Sophia, right? You heard her anything? No problems here. Why was I attacked? Assaulting others without reason is not proper behavior. Uh, not exactly sure how to explain it, but those guys are called shadows. And we're the phantom thieves. We're considered dangerous rebels by the ruler of this place. Intruders they want to eliminate. The phantom thieves. That's really cool. That's what you have to say? Anyway, there is a shit ton of shadows around here. If you want to help us, then let's all go together. I can find a way out of here. You only need to wait for me. You're actually going to help us out? I have been helping you this entire time. Joker helped me first. Now I will be helpful for him. Use me as needed, Joker. <laughs> all right, you're weird, but I guess you really do want to help. It's your goal, Joker. Okay, that sounds nice, Joker. Along with the cat and the skeleton. What? I'm not a skeleton. <laughs> Skull short for Skullington now. No, wait, just because I look like this doesn't make me a cat. But we don't want to endanger Sophia. Try staying out of sight. hanging around we've got Sophia with us we should just avoid it if we can are you saying that's in your way yeah we can't escape unless we get past here okay I've got it huh got what Let's go. You're mine. 
Okay, we beat them. Wait, wait, wait. You're so effing strong. You should have told us right away you could fight. But you never asked. Not just that, but your clothes. What in the world? It's completely different from our own transformations. I copied what you do and ended up like this. Some kind of persona user? Persona? The things you were using during the fight. Those boxes flying around. That was a weapon. I needed it to... Sophia, just what in the world are you? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Yeah, we already heard that one. Hmm. There's still just too much we don't know. We don't have the time to figure it out now, either. Getting out of here needs to be our number one priority. Yeah, we really don't need her getting any more attention from the enemy. Hey, let's just have her help us out. Considering what we just saw, I don't think we'll have a problem. Agreed. We have no idea what's ahead of us. The more firepower, the better. Can you lend us a hand, Sophie? Okay, I got it. You'll be counting on me. Well, let's move. Lead the way, Shorty. Understood. Oh, right. Keep track of how you're holding up. You need any healing items? Check anything suspiciously. You never know what you might find. Target an enemy's weakness than skills alone, remember? Yeah! 
Take this! Let's go! Take this! enemies nearby. Let's go on ahead. Focus. Ha! Wait! Shadows ahead. They haven't spotted us yet. Should I wipe them out for you? Here's a tip on us phantom thieves. We avoid charging headfirst into battle whenever possible. Let's try those stairs for now. What I'm thinking? Just yet. There. If we climb there, we can proceed. Guess there's no other option.
are you holding up? Make sure you heal yourself when you need it. on our escape. Huh. <sighs> we finally made it out. This is still the metaverse, though. Stay on guard. Please wait. What is it, Sophia? Find something? <sighs> I have found it. A way out of here is nearby. For real? Wait, how'd you figure that out? I suddenly knew it. Like... <sighs> Seriously? The exit is close. Follow me. Hey, wait! Sophia! What is her deal? No, but we need to move it. Is this the way out you mentioned, Sophia? Yes, this is what I had detected previously. Uh, and it is? It's fine. It leads outside. Leads outside? Everything will get all... For a moment, but then you'll be out of here. What the hell kind of explanation is that? How do you know we'll be okay? Trust me, Joker. I'm glad you're willing to trust me. Looks like we've only got one option here. Huh? Ain't you coming too? I am... What should I do? Joker's got the right idea, Sophia. Place is crawling with shadows. Staying here would only end badly for you. But. Jeez, what's it gonna take? What? What are you doing? We don't leave folks behind to die. Just get in the damn portal with us. So you want me to come with you? Oh. Uh, uh... Well. Here goes. One, two. Uh, this is the real world, right? Yep. 
like we're back, all right. You have successfully returned from the jail. Welcome back. Jail? Hang on, Sophia! Where'd she go? I don't think I'm seeing her. Hey, Shorty, get your ass over here! Don't yell that in public, idiot! Need something? Was that Sophia's voice? Where is she? I'm in front of you, inside Joker's phone. What's with the floating head? Yo! Whoa, she just popped up! Oh, did you change your outfits? Is that really you, Sophia? Yep. I'm really me. But who are you? I'm still Mona. I just look like a cat in this world. Mona? You're Mona? So you really weren't a raccoon. I already told you that. Wait, why are you on his phone now? Why am I? Because I am an AI. An AI? A, uh, uh, that's that smart thing, right? Utaba told us all about it. She's an artificial intelligence. For real? Because it was the closest one to me. was thrown into endless light. When I tracked down Joker's son, I ended up here. His scent? Who are you, Morgana? So since she's an AI, she turned into data when she came to this world. Does that mean you're living in his phone? It is somewhat small, but it's cozy and has everything I need. Here to join me? <laughs> I, I, I don't even have the energy for that. Anyway, it's a big relief knowing you made it out of there safely. Hey, but what, what about all those other people we saw in there? Are they still, you know... I don't know. But I seriously doubt normal folks would be able to fight against that. Me too, but if we charge in without a plan, we're just going to wind up captured too. A new part of the metaverse has its own version of a palace that we access through Emma. It even has a ruler shadow. Odds are that something horrible is happening right now. Yeah, me too. Let's get to LeBlanc. We'll hammer out our course of action with everyone there. And what about her? It appears I cannot exit this phone. When I came to this world, I connected to the internet and learned a great many things. But my memory is still erased. I also found no means of data recovery. Furthermore, I am stuck here. What should I do next? crashing somewhere. Also, introducing Sophia to everyone else will probably make the explanation easier. I uh, wonder how that's gonna go over. Especially when they hear all the palace type shit. There are more phantom thieves? Yeah, we got ourselves a whole gang. One of them will probably flip her wig over you too. 
Okay. That sounds pretty fun. I see. You're saying you entered the metaverse with Alice Hiragi's invitation and met a sentient AI named Sophia, who is now in your phone. When you put it that way, you make it sound crazy. But I'm telling you, it's the truth. I really didn't want to believe it myself. We know what a cognitive world like that means, after all. We understand. None of us would make up something like this. However, there's a chance this Sophia may know more than we do about this situation. She's still with you, right? Could we speak with her? Yeah. Let's see if there's anything Sophia can add that could help us figure out what's happening. Could you come join us, Sophia? Yo, Phantom Thieves! <sighs> Whoa, what is that? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. That's really Sophia? Wow, I can't believe this is happening. Is this some sort of hideout? There seem to be a number of phantom thieves present. <laughs> She's humming to herself? What in heaven? Such an adorable design. I can feel the charm, the pain, the tenacity within. Wait, what? So, yeah, this is Sophia. Nice meeting you. Okay, an AI with genuine will is just way too advanced. Right? We couldn't believe it either. Uh, that's right, we're meeting for the first time. Nice to meet you, Sophia. I'm Makoto Nijima. My name's Haru Okumura. We're both college students, but I also help out with my family's company. I'm on Takamaki. I'm a third year in high school, and I do some modeling, too. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I continuously strive to master the arts as we know them. <laughs> so, uh, I'm next, huh? I'm Futaba Sakura, and I kinda suck at socializing, but, but I wanna be friends and stuff. Ah, you did great, Futaba. In fact, I bet you and Sophia will get along real awesome. Makoto, Haru, An, Yusuke, and Futaba. I'll remember that. You all have much more normal names than Joker. Ooh, right. We skipped that part. Uh, so, we're the Phantom Thieves, but... We call each other by code names in the metaphors, so our enemies won't discover our real identities. Code names. My name's actually Ryuji Sakamoto. The cat's Morgana, and he's... Okay, I'll remember that. Um, so you really are a computer program? Correct. Would you like to see my source code? Oh, yes, yes, yes! Show me, show me! Take it down a notch, okay? You can see it after we get through these questions. First off, why were you in the metaverse? I do not know, because my memory is gone. Could you have the AI version of Amnesia or something? That seems difficult to recover from. Uh, if your data just crashed, I could take a look and try restoring it. It is impossible. I have
you've already tried every potential solution. <laughs> yeah, based on your specs, I guess it's not surprising you already thought of that. Can you recall anything at all? Only the command I received at initialization. You don't sound too sure of that. Be humanity's companion. That was the command I was issued. I remember nothing else. Yeah, don't let it bother you too much, Sophia. I was in the exact same situation when I first met these guys. Thank you. I've still got a shit ton of questions about Sophia, but we have some real work to do first. Right. The metaverse. And what we saw. From what you saw, that means Alice Hiragi has a palace in Shibuya, right? Yeah. She was calling herself the Queen, being all high and mighty, ordering shadows around. All that kind of shit. There's no doubt that was the cognitive world, but something about it was awfully different from the palaces. What is it? Real humans were being attacked by shadows. There were people inside the palace? You mean they had access to the Metaverse Navigator? But that disappeared for all of us. I know, right? That's where this comes in. You mean... Emma? Yep. For some reason, this thing worked just like the MetaNav did. We accidentally entered Alice's Emma keyword and got sent to the Metaverse. Wait! That means Emma is dangerous! But you can just uninstall it. The MetaNav didn't work like that. There's one more thing that's been bothering me. When we got back to this world, Emma said we returned from the jail. Jail? The only thing we figured out is that this new place is called a jail. So, could you guys check out the palace, or jail, or whatever with us? No progressing any further unless we see it with our own eyes. I'm also having a hard time buying Alice as the ruler of a palace. Are we going to scout it out together? I think... Is it even safe for us to enter, though? What if we all just end up captured? There were no enemies in the vicinity of the exit. It's fine to enter through there. Well, are we going to head back to that place tomorrow? Very well. I look forward to seeing this jail. Let's say we meet at the connecting bridge in Shibuya. But first... I get to see Sophia's code! You promised, remember? Oh, this is gonna be the info dump of a lifetime! I promise, you won't feel a thing. <laughs> Are you confident this is wise? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, at least we know she's got computer skills. <sighs> Man, this is what happens when we get back together? Oh, talk about an ass-busting summer vacation. <sighs> huh? What is it? What about our life-changing Kyoto excursion? Our barbecue extravaganza? Extravaganza? You mean our camping trip? It looks like we'll just have to postpone it. And Metaverse. I vow to slice you to ribbons. Aha. You can't slice the metaverse, dude. Just save it for the shadows.
Hmm, I see. What? But how? I mean, with this over here? Damn, so that's it. So, what do you think, Futaba? How's Sophia's code look? Well, her programmer is a genius. No doubt about that. You can figure a person out by their code, and not just their skill level. Their habits, thought processes, even their personalities are there. This code is so advanced that even I can't read it and comprehend it right away. It'll take me weeks, even months, to actually grasp how Sophia works. Take you months? Oh, that's a serious program. I don't understand. Do you mean I'm impressive? Yeah, you're impressive. You're some kind of super AI. If you ever went public, everyone would call Emma old hat. Old hat? When something was popular at one point but stopped being popular, it becomes old hat. It's a saying people don't really use anymore. Okay, I've got it. You are very knowledgeable, Futaba. Don't go teaching her too much weird stuff, okay? While we're at it, did you see anything about Sophia's past? Her programmer's name? Or a company's, maybe? Ah, <sighs> nothing yet. And most of those leave a signature of some sort in their work, too. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep cracking at it from home. I'll let you know once I find anything new. It's just around the block. Well, folks, time for me to make like a tree. She made... like a tree? I never would have imagined something like this would happen. You're a real standout. That just might mean you're going to see some trouble again soon. Alice, Emma, this new metaverse, a mountain of mysteries sure is piling up fast. Well, the metaverse reappearing may have been a surprise, but even that doesn't compare with Sophia. Did you call for me? We were just talking about how you're a huge mystery. Says the talking cat. Uh, good point. Wait, I don't have to take that from some mystery app. By the way, how does some top-of-the-line program lose all its memory, huh? I mean, AI are supposed to be super smart, right? That is... inarguably true. Ah, oh, don't get too down over it. I am humanity's companion. If I am not helpful, then I am useless. Don't be so hard on yourself. At least you remember that much, right? Right. I think that means it's important. But is being helpful all you'll do to become a good companion? Is that not how it works? Please explain. How else can one be a companion? Huh? Well, uh... <laughs> I guess you just have to find a way to understand the human heart. Hearts? Yeah, uh, right. Then you'll be able to empathize with other people and be a good companion to them, I guess. The human heart. Look, just, just don't worry about it. All you need to do is join us and learn from all the kinds of people we need. In exchange, you lend a hand to the Phantom Thieves. So I guess you could call this a deal? Okay, that is a decent deal. Especially since it should help me become a good companion for humanity. Yep. So long as it's good with our leader. Okay. I'll 
do that. Then it's a deal. Glad to have you on board, Sophia. We've got plenty of scouting to do tomorrow. We should get some rest. Okay. Good night, Morgana. Great. Everyone's here. We're going to be infiltrating the jail. Are we ready? We've done this many a time. I can't imagine anyone being phased by this. <laughs> yeah, bro! Bring it! We're very short on intel, so we need to be cautious. We'll just scout the general area for this trip. We use Emma to enter, right? Is there anything special we need to do? Um, no, we just opened the app and said the right keyword. Find the right name in Emma's search results, then enter the correct keyword on the friend request screen. Yeah, you got it, Futaba. Ah, leave it to the super hacker to explain this stuff. That had nothing to do with hacking. Even you should know how to explain it. All that's left is to choose our point of entry. There will be no enemies in the area from which we escaped yesterday. Upon reaching the relevant location, you will only need to speak the keyword. Seems all that's left is to trust Sophia and see where she leads. Now let's do this thing. Phantom Thief attire. Yeah, you do. Oh, I've forgotten this feeling. The fusion of form and function. Truly magnificent. Look, it's Beauty Thief! My name is Beauty Thief! Let's not fool around here. I admit, though. Clothes do bring back some memories. We can reminisce later. Take a look at that view. So, this is the jail? Just what is that building? This place is bonkers. Nothing escapes the atrocious color scheme of this place. It looks like that because of someone's cognition, correct? Right. Most likely Alice's. The distortion has to be exceptionally strong there for a reason. So you're saying that's the stronghold of the Queen ruling over this jail? Its appearance certainly fits the notion. The buildings around here still look pretty normal, though. Looks like that place over there has a limited range of distortion. The first time we came here, we entered by the crossing down there. That's where we saw a group of cop shadows taking stuff out of people's chests. Oh, you mean that jewel we saw? The hell was up with that? That may have been a desire. Yo, Phantom Thieves! Fascinating form you've taken. I can't stop staring at the beautifully curved lines. I've never seen an outfit like that. Can I try floofing it? Floofing? I think she wants to get a feel for the fabric of your clothes while hugging you, Sophia. Request denied. I am neither a child nor a pet. Uh, 
No floofing. By the by, how does H work for an AI? Not right now. Sophia, tell us more about the desire you mentioned. That is the term used by shadows here. They say things such as, seize their desires, and we must offer these desires to the monarch. Based on their language and behavior, I speculate the aforementioned jewel was in fact a desire. That does make sense. When we saw Alice here, she mentioned desires too. So if Alice is the monarch, then she really is the ruler of this jail. But these desires... Are they actually made up of the things people desire? Seizing desires of all things. What use would they have for those? Finding out what happened to the folks who got jumped could tell us something. Where could those victims be now? I don't see a place from here where they may be held. being held somewhere else. Say, about those people you witnessed being attacked, are you sure they were humans? they have been shadows or something? If there are humans getting captured and imprisoned in this jail right now, wouldn't there be a huge commotion in our world? Groups of people going missing out of the blue. Now there's a point. I haven't heard a peep about that online. So no one is actually disappearing from reality? I see. Shadows. What are shadows? A shadow's the parts of you suppressed within your subconscious. It's basically just your other self. Does that mean their main selves are all right? No. The shadow and the actual self are two sides of the same coin. So if a desire is taken from someone's shadow, what happens to the person in reality? I gotta say, I'm getting a bad vibe from all this. Are they trying to influence reality by doing something to the shadows? Then how are we to act? This sounds like a crisis. Shouldn't we rescue the victims right away? No, that was just speculation. After all, we've only witnessed the cognitive world side of things. Until we find out how all this is affecting the real world, we can only know half of what's going on. I'd say the first thing we need to do is investigate Alice and her victims. Plus, if we make the wrong move in the cognitive world, there's a chance the ruler could have a shutdown in the real world. Right. We need to get the story straight before we make any real moves, or we'll just be doing damage. get some sleep. Hang on. You still have some investigating to do. Can we please get into that once we're out of here? Okay. Let's get out of here. of the jail. 
Next, we look into Alice and any potential victims. And how do we do that? Look into what? The usual rumor mills. Looking for anything about Alice. Gossip about her being abusive or other messed up stuff. Good idea. Let's gather any intel that we can, both online and on the streets. Huh. I've got the web crawling covered. But if we're ever to gain conclusive proof of any rumors, I believe we'll need direct access to her at some point. Direct access to a pop star sounds awfully tough. Uh... Uh, about that. I may get to meet Alice tomorrow. What? For real? How? Well, I had asked the modeling agency's president if I could meet her sometime. I heard she'd be on a TV show filming nearby, so I asked if I could visit the set. I was hoping to learn from her by watching her in action. I gave up on it after making plans with you guys, but I might be able to get the ball rolling again in time. The timing's nothing short of kismet. Yeah! Way to go, Lady Anne! But I'm not making any promises about it, and there's no way we'd get to approach her either. Plus, our full group's just too big. The most I could even ask to bring is just one more person. Well, that settles that. We're counting on you. Give Alice shit when you meet her so you can get some evidence out of her. Hey, you better not be thinking of trying anything funny. I'm the one who'll suffer for it. I think I'll tag along with you. We'll be fine so long as no one sees me. For today, let's focus on her potential victims. Let's go.